It's a good thing the Galaxy Note 7 is IP68, because it's been leaking like a faucet. Samsung's Note line of phones have long been the favorites for those that like a stylus input or just like their phones big. Let me introduce you to the Galaxy Note 6. 7. It's a Galaxy Note 7. So aside from skipping a number, there's a lot new with the Note 7. Let's start with how you're gonna unlock it. It's got an iris scanner built in, which is super fast to set up and unlocks phone just by looking at it. And this is not a face detection unlock like we saw with older versions of Android. It actually uses your eye. And Samsung's integrating the iris scanner into more than just how to unlock the phone. There's actually a new secure folder section of the device where you can put apps, documents, and whatever you want. And Samsung protected it with hardware encryption and it's Knox framework. So if you really don't want someone to see what you're hiding on your phone, just throw it in there. Assuming they don't, don't cut out your eyeball. But once you do unlock that screen with your iris, you're gonna be looking at a 5.7 inch quad HD display. Of course, it's super AMOLED. It's got a whopping 518 PPI. So screen should look really good. I think Samsung makes some of the best displays in the business. For those of you worried about storage, 64 gigabyte is going to be the only version available and 64 gigabytes internal, but of course expandable. Keeping this thing humming along is going to be four gigs of RAM with LTE CAT 12. Different processors are going to be powering this device depending on where you live. US is going to get the Snapdragon 820. Other markets will get an Exynos OctaCore powered by two separate quad-core chips, a 2.3 gigahertz and a 1.6 gigahertz. Of course, this is running Samsung's own software, but it's based on Android 6.0.1. Samsung did not give us a time frame for Android 7. Presumably, that will be coming soon. Other notable changes here, gone is micro USB. Welcome to USB Type-C. The rest of the specs are going to be pretty reminiscent from the Galaxy S7. So, 3500 milliamp hour battery, 12 megapixel camera, 5 megapixel front facing sensor. For those of you guys are excited about VR, Samsung is expecting the device to support Daydream. They said, and I quote, they need more information from Google. Samsung's been refining and slipping down their UI for years, and that's the same here with the Note 7. Fewer icons, more friendly forehand operation. They didn't have to compromise at all on the one-handed grip. A new phone deserves some new accessories, and of course, the Note is coming with a brand spanking new S Pen. It is now also IP68 water and dust resistant, which means you could actually use the phone and the S Pen underwater. There's two times more pressure sensitivity here. It also has the always on display from the Galaxy S7, so you can pretty much jot down a note the second you take it out, but you can also pin that note to the front of the screen. For those of you that are wondering how it's going to compare to Note 5, it's 2.2 millimeters narrower. This guy's also coated in Gorilla Glass 5, and they've upgraded their metal to aluminum 7000 gray, which is supposedly much, much stronger. All that coupled with IP68, you should have a pretty durable phone. If you're a Samsung fan looking to make a switch to Android, or maybe just want a new phone or a larger screen, the Note 7 looks to be a really nice option. If you guys want to see more coverage on the Note 7, give the video a thumbs up to let us know. We'll do a ton more videos, including comparisons, hands-on, camera samples, and whatever else you want to see. Thank you guys for watching. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. See you guys next video.